Welcome back to Perks Recap. Back at it once again. We're hitting Toto. This is a full album reaction. This is the second one we've done. We did one last week. Got another one this week. I want to thank Steven for the donation for this, the suggestion for this. It's the full album, the second album by Toto. It is called Hydra. We're going to go start to finish like we always do. We'll break it up into three parts. All three parts will be released at the exact same time. So you can just jump right from one to the next. You don't have to wait in between at all whatsoever. Okay, let's just dive right in. Please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. The first song is the album title song called Hydra. Let's get to it. Interesting. this song quite a bit um it is definitely catchy um i need to well first i need to apologize because i did not have this set up properly uh at the start so i usually try to do have this all ready to go okay so of course toto is bobby kimball steve uh lucather steve porcaro um david page 
David Hungate, and Jeff Barcaro. David Hungate doesn't sound familiar. I could be wrong. Let me know. I, I'll, maybe I'll try to find it. Uh, is this a different drummer from the first album? I don't remember that name. I could just be wrong. Absolutely is a possibility. No doubt about it. Um, interesting enough, all the tracks were written by David H., unless otherwise noted here on Wikipedia, but they're not really... Yeah, it's pretty much all David Page. Um, this one is being sung by him as well. Usually it's uh, Kimball who does a lot of the vocals, but right now it's Page and his all, all the voices. A lot of these bands in the 70s that I've been doing, everybody's got a good voice. You know, almost all of them do. Almost all of them can sing. And here's the same case here. Very good voice and just a really, really catchy song. Let's resume. Oh, this is the longest one on the track. Uh, this is this track is the longest one on the album. It's like over seven minutes long. That's why I pause in between. Usually on these album reactions, what I'll do is uh, let the whole song play through and then give my thoughts at the end. But this was a little bit longer, so I pause in the middle. Here we go. <laughs> Okay, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed that one. 
Uh, this playlist should play through. For some reason, it doesn't look like it is. But real quick, uh, I just want to mention about the um, about that last song. Really enjoyed it. Really catchy. Thoroughly enjoyed the guitar solo. Did not expect the guitar solo. Really, really good. Um, we're only doing two songs for this uh, first part anyway. The first two because this one was on the longer side. But I, I want to get this straightened out so this doesn't keep happening where after every song I have to go to the playlist, select the next one, and continue that way. I'd rather get it, let it play all the way through. So I'm going to get that straightened out, and I'll be right back. Hold on one second. pause during this song because I paused during the first song and this one isn't nearly as long just want to mention everything's all set with the uh, with the playlist now we're good to go um, I'm noticing is there like a theme of I guess there is like dragons and knights and in, in, in medieval times and things like that because every, both songs have uh, alluded to that for sure the artwork alludes to it, although I don't think that's their artwork. This is whoever uh, created the video, which, by the way, we will have a link to this video, uh, each, each one uh, in the description below, so you can check this out yourself if you want to see the artwork up close and, and uh, check it out a little bit more. Um, the name of this song is St. George and the Dragon. I mean, there, is, there it is right there, St. George and the Dragon. It has to do with, I think this is a whole going to be the whole theme for the entire album. Once again, written by Paige and i tell you i'm assuming that's going to be lucather on the guitars both times both songs have had great guitar work the first song had a full-on solo i don't know if this one does but what i've heard from the guitar absolutely stellar the guitar of course their um their vocals are always really good and the piano is what's uh standing out for me and like i said last time Paige did sing the first song hydra but now we're back to uh, to Kimmel, um, Bobby Kimmel's playing uh, is uh, singing this song. Okay, let's finish this one up, and that will be the end of part one. Uh, it is going to be one of the shorter ones, but uh, then we'll do the part two. Will be three songs, and part four will be f three songs. It's just that that first one was the longest one on the album, so I figure I'll just do two songs for this part. Here we go. <laughs>
enjoyed that that was excellent um through two songs obviously i got a long way to go still through these two songs they seem to be reliant a little bit more on the guitar a little bit heavier guitar um not not that the first album didn't have guitar work it did and it was stellar guitar work don't get me wrong but both of these songs had uh solos and definitely more guitar than i was used to from the first album like i said plenty on the first album but through these two songs, it seems like the guitar is the is the focal point of uh, of both of the songs in terms of the instruments. I'm trying to see now. Lucather's credited for guitars, and so is Hungate, but he's the only one that's got to be Lucather on the solos. It's got to be, um, and he's absolutely excellent. I like Kimball's voice. I think he's his voice is probably the one that they use the most. It is. I'm looking at it right now. Um, I remember. Uh, from the first album that he was basically the main vocalist let's come back with a really really quick close and then we'll get to part two there you have it. that is part one of our toto complete album reaction the album is hydra the two songs that we did were hydra the self-titled uh, the, the title of the album the first song is hydra the second one was saint george and the dragon seems like dragons and knights and medieval times is kind of like the theme of the album so far definitely the theme of the artwork whoever put that in there um so but so far two for two for me guitar work absolutely stellar seems a little bit more involved more the focal point of the songs so far and you know that's right up my alley so i'm excited to get to the rest of this one again two for two uh so far and if uh this keeps up like this it'll be another complete album download for me as the first one was Anyway, I want to thank Stephen once again for the donation and the suggestion for this one. If you'd like to be like Stephen and donate, information for Venmo and PayPal is in the description below. It's also at the, at the end of this video or hit the thanks button on YouTube. And if you donate, I'll react to anything you want me to. But that's going to do it for this one. Please join me for part two. It's coming right up. It'll be the link for part two is in the description below. So if you want to jump right to it, go right ahead. I'll see you over there on part two. <laughs>